morning everyone actually it's not i'm telling lies it's actually 20 just gone 25 to 2 in the afternoon um happy vlogmas video day chris and i've been to slim and wild today um i don't know how but i've managed to lose a pound and a half so whoop, go me and chris is going in and in and because actually he took one for the team and he put on a pound didn't you babe yeah, put on a pound. yeah never mind nothing so get rid of that um anyway so we have been and completely finished our christmas grocery shopping now so we now have everything um i'm going to show you what we got and alster have got some amazing bargains they're not reduced items it's the actual prices that they're priced at if you know what i mean i'll start so we picked up just a standard low farmhouse white sliced loaf um i think that was 85p but some of these aren't aren't the prices that i'm really referring to where you've got a lot of savings but i will get to those um picked up just a small little box of ferrara roche i think they were 350. if there's any more in there we just eat them um some rolls these are the tiger rolls so some of this is ordinary grocery stuff um, of course, the Ferrara Rocher, they're going to be put away for Christmas. But this is just, uh, you know, normal household stuff. Um, this was two for three fifty, I think it was. So we picked up some ham on the bone and some corned beef. That isn't for Christmas. Anything that is going to be put away for Christmas, I'll tell you. One of these, the trifle mixes, the bird's trifle mix. I love these. I know I could make a trifle probably a hundred times better than this. However, it's nostalgic. Always used to have these as a kid and they're only one pound and we still like them. So yeah. Thing is, <coughs> The thing is, in this house, I'm the only one that actually likes trifle. Chris doesn't particularly like it, but he will try a little bit. So for me to spend a lot of money on a decent trifle, it's not worth it. Um, some Philadelphia, Philadelphia, that's the sweet chili. And we also got the garlic and herb one. So they're gonna go away pack of grapes or pint of grapes or container of grapes whatever you call it these are the green seedless grapes two bananas because of course i'm the only one that actually eats them cucumber now i'm getting to some of the bargains right oh, okay yeah uh Parsnip, bag of parsnips, 20p. That's their standard price. They've, they haven't reduced them. This is what they're actually selling them for, 20p. So, we've picked up two of those. Brussels sprouts, 20p. And they're until the 26th of December, so they're gonna be fine anyway. So 40, that's 20p as well. So 40p for two 500 gram bags of Brussels sprouts. Um, carrots, again, 20p. Kilogram carrots, 20p. So we've got two of those. I can always chop them and pop them in the freezer, you see. Uh, this wasn't, this was reduced, I think. Yeah, this cabbage was reduced uh, to 51p and it's a Savoy cabbage. Love a Savoy cabbage. So that's going to be sort of for now. And then we picked up a stew pack. That's going to be for now as well. That was reduced down to 85p. So you've got carrots, parsnip, onion and a swede in there. So I should use that before Christmas. And of course some lemons, you have to have some unwaxed lemons in for Christmas for your drinks. 
Uh, I sat back down. Um, These were 85p, and these are going to go away for Christmas as well. So, you know, like the times when you need some bread and you haven't got any in, or you've got people coming over or something. Um, six dinner rolls, 85p, they're the Bake at Home ones. So, we got two of those. Um, tomatoes, they weren't reduced, they were normal price. I can't remember what they are. I think they might be about 70p, something like that. So, two packs of those. Um, there's the other parsley, it was for 20p. Broccoli, a head of broccoli, 20p. So I picked up two of those, two lots of broccoli. Um, these, what are these? Are they satsumas or what are they? Clementines. One pound fifty for those. That's just normal price. Um, Romaine lettuce. These are our favourites. What were these? Pound, I think. I think these were pound. Um, another Swede, fifty p. Some celery. That was fifty p. These peppers were one twenty nine because I wanted the ones that didn't have like the green one in the middle because I'm really not keen or Chris isn't keen on the green one. Um, so we thought we'd go for the red, yellow and the orange. I think they were 129 as opposed to 125 if they had the green one. Um, 60p for a bag of white onions. A bag of these extra special Maribel potatoes were a roll back from two pounds to a pound. And then we got these baby potatoes as well, the extra special little baby ones. And they were a pound. Picked up the Asda magazine, so I'll have a good look through that in a minute. Just gonna put everything that's gonna go away for Christmas. I'm gonna pop back in the bag and then Chris is gonna take it to the garage and sort of uh, pack it all up in the garage. Um, picked up a few bits from Morrison's. Um, being decadent and it's Cheap Friday, we picked up these donuts. They are the most favourite donuts in the whole wide world, as far as we're concerned. From Morrison's, these are the strawberries, we get the raspberry as well. They are immense, they're fabulous. Look how big these donuts are. They are only ever 50p. They will last three days on the shelf like this, or you can freeze them. Uh, if you individually wrap them, you can freeze them. That never happens in this house. Mm, I wonder why. Mm, Christmas eat them all. There for now. Now I said I was gonna make some Christmas mince pies like I made the other day in one of my other videos. Um, and I still make, because I've got frozen, um, I've made the pastry and it's frozen, I've still got minced meat left. But I thought, what if I can't be bothered? Do you know what I mean? So, we just pick some up. Just in case, these were two for a pound in Morrison's. So you've got the lattice mince pies. That's the lattice one. And then just the the normal ones with the little pastry tops on. So two for a pound, I thought, have those in, and if I feel like making my own, then I can. Um, I just picked up a box of biscuits. These are just the ordinary family circle, nothing special ones. Because there's something in here that everyone really likes, because they've got shortbread and everything for Christmas. We picked up some, a bag of frozen, um, cocktail sausage rolls. And then last but not least, in Morrison's, we picked up some goat's cheese. And then tomorrow we've got our Tesco's order coming. And that is it. Final. Done. Finito. Finished. Oh my God, it's just arrived. I ordered this a while ago, you know. And um, it just hasn't 
it didn't, it hasn't come until today and I totally forgot about it. So when there was a little note through the door to say, parcel was here. I'm really so excited to see what it is. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, so sweet. Look. There we go. It's a little Christmas village in a little book. How cute is that? So I'll get Chris to put some batteries because I'm sure that tree goes round. That's so damn cute. Look at that. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So there's some Christmas lights and it's like the net. And um, I got these from the kitchen window and I thought this sort of thing, we'll probably leave up all year round, to be honest with you. So I'll show you what they look like when Chris is done. How good do these rolls look? <laughs> Decadent or what? But look how... Cute, that is. Isn't that cute, Chris? Mm -hmm. It's a little Christmas scene in mm -hmm. a book. In a book. Yeah. Well, um, lovely. I love that. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. 